Hello, I'm Atubo Judge. Now, today is Friday. <laughs> Praise God. Now, listen. God has been dealing with us about false teachings. And, and, and my prayer, my prayer. Hmm. Let me show you this. And, and this is my prayer for you. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 14. Now, after he says that we come to the unity of the faith, that we come to the unto a perfect man. See, unto a perfect man. So, how well are you growing in this? Now, he says, verse 14, he says that we henceforth be no more children. See God's desire for you. That we henceforth be no more children. Tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men no slight of men the mistake of men see now how how would you feel you build your life on something your pastor have taught you and then one day your pastor comes and say you know what that thing i taught you i just realized that it was wrong and, and this is maybe 10 years later it's <laughs> gone now how would you feel you know sometimes for example, you know, like the church came under this whole story of whether we should tithe or whether we shouldn't tithe, you know. So, so now you have believed that you should be tithing, and then you were tithing, and then suddenly someone comes and say, "We are not supposed to be tithing." Say, "Hey, okay, ah, I'm not going to tithe again." And then, hey, see, when things like that happen, the first question you should ask yourself: If is it anything that comes to challenge your faith or to challenge something you have believed? The first question you should ask yourself is, where is this coming from? Now, first of all, the one I was holding on to, where did it come from? And that's one thing you must know. You see, because many times false teaching comes by the what slight of men, the mistakes of men. His lack of understanding has made him to teach you the wrong things. And you run with those wrong things. Now, there's a slight of men, and then there's what also? The cunning craftiness of men. Now, this is where a man wants, for example, someone wants to take money from your hands. And he wants to use the, because he's a pastor, so he wants to use the, the Bible to take money from your hands. And he begins to quote scriptures and quote scriptures and tell you stuff. And then he, he says, oh, fine, ah, now, all he's concerned about is how to meet his budget. <laughs> Praise God. He wants to meet his budget. Now, now, he says, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But what? Speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Now, for example, what I was talking about, you know, Titan. Now, we tithe. The tradition of the church came. I mean, the tradition of the church is in tithing. Now, sometimes when you when you deal with issues like this, how do I know which one is the truth? And how do I know what is eternal? And how do I know what is passing away? Now, when you see God give a deliberate command, you know, I hear people say, um, Titan is not in the New Testament. Jesus didn't talk about Titan. The apostles didn't talk about Titan. So it means that the church, we shouldn't be Titan today. That is so false. That is so erroneous. I'm telling you the truth. You know, like I, you know, I, I say this. Let anyone come out and say, the Spirit of the Lord told me that we shouldn't be Titan. Then I'll listen to you. Until that, if you're using scriptures to argue then that's foolishness. I'm telling you the truth. Big foolishness. Because that's not what Jesus sent us to do. You see, Jesus said to the Pharisees in John chapter 5, verse 39, you search the scriptures because in them you think you will have eternal life. And these scriptures testify of me. And you are not coming to me so that you will have life. You don't get life through the scriptures. The scriptures talk about life but it doesn't give you life. It is only Jesus. And when you meet him by the Holy Spirit, that's when life is ministered to you. So our teachings, I'm talking to pastors now, even you as a, you that think you're not a pastor, this is for you too. Everything we hold onto in our minds as truth 
you must make sure you had a personal encounter with the spirit now when i say personal encounter i'm not saying i was in the forest one day and no that's not what I'm going. the personal encounter can be the holy spirit coming to you early in the morning and say son now it doesn't mean you were, your room door shut and somebody walked into you no you're lying on your bed that voice inside here just speaking to you he says do you know that thing about titan this is it this is it this is it now how do i know the spirit of it will bring enlightenment because when he talks to you your 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 mind is enlightened see your mind grows see so now another way to know simple everything in scriptures that came as a direct command from god you don't change it anyhow you you look at it is it a command from i'll tell you why because there is a wisdom behind that command now it's the wisdom behind that command you should deal with and there you know if it's going to be of beneficiary to you because the one who gave the command was wise. He wasn't foolish. Praise God. So something like Titan, for example, is eternal. The problem, now the people who say tight, now many of them saw Titan as an opportunity to get money. You know, oh, now if everybody will be bringing their 10%, oh, we're going to get some money. So let them just tight. So you tell them everything to make them tight. You know, you, you look for things and cost them and bring all kinds of things. Now that's wrong. Now, on the other hand, the one who's saying, don't tithe, is the one who's like, eh, all these people that are collecting tithe, they are taking a lot of money. So I, th I think it's wrong. Something is just wrong somewhere. D then you now begin to look for something and say, hey, they are wrong. You shouldn't tithe. See, your, 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 your focus was wrong. So every understand, because you're trying to achieve something that is wrong. You didn't go to the Lord and say, Lord, what, what is the truth about this matter? And let the Lord himself tell you who's right and who's wrong. Praise God. So, to the most case, even those that are saying tight, they are wrong. To the most case, I say. And those that are saying don't tight, they are also wrong. So, what's the truth? The truth is very simple. It is right to tight. Praise God. But you see, how we tight is where the problem is. The Spirit of the Lord should be the one commanding you where to send your tithe to this is the truth he is the one because it is his money he is the one to tell you this is where you should take your tithe to this is who you should give your tithes to now when that is taking place in your life you know you're truly tightened if you're still tightened because of, of religion oh i need to take my tithe to my church or oh, i need to take it's religion you will enjoy the full blessing of the lord but concerning titan it is a command from the lord don't believe anyone that says don't tithe 10 years from now you will see the poverty of their teaching i'm telling you the truth praise god <laughs> listen meditate on these things this weekend be full of them and like i said my prayer for you is that you will not be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine praise god we'll continue on monday have a beautiful day bye bye